The main goal of this summer course was to introduce the concept of structural health monitoring applied to infrastructure like bridges. Heuristic forms of condition assessment of bridges, for instance, may date back to the origins of structural engineering. However, the implementation of a strategy based on monitoring systems and data analysis to identify damage has been defined as structural health monitoring. Structural health monitoring, or SHM, is a combination of words associated with the medical sector. Instead of looking for disease, we look for structural damage like scarring, cracks, and corrosion. The summer course targets masters and PhD students from European institutions, and as a planned intensive program, it included remote and in-person activities. For the remote part, Yonut and I introduced the concept of SHM, posed in the context of a statistical pattern recognition paradigm, where sensing technology and machine learning algorithms play an important role. For the in-person part, we invited colleagues from several European institutions to come over here for one week and to teach a specific topic. This week in Lisbon was extremely important for students to gain a basic knowledge on SHM with hands-on experiences in our lab. I would like to thank Maria Limongelli and Francesco Giordano from Polytechnic de Milano, Roland Cromanis from the University of Twente, Greg Poprava from the Silesian University of Technology, and Mihai Nedelko from the Technical University of Cluj Napoca. Besides the big picture of SHM, we also covered specific topics like the value of information, smartphone and video-based monitoring, fun element modeling update and bridge field testing. We would like to acknowledge the European Commission for the funding through the Erasmus Plus program, which allowed us to have here almost 30 students and instructors from 10 European universities, sharing ideas and opportunities, but most important, sharing European common values. I'm really happy with the success of this summer course, and we hope to organize it again next year, with another group of students and with new updates in terms of sensing technology and machine learning applied to extend the lifetime of our infrastructure and to contribute to the safety and well-maintained bridges. <laughs>